live from the USA helping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Today is August 3rd. Uh, Bitcoin is right around twenty eight hundred dollars. It's it it hasn't been able to break twenty eight fifty, but it hasn't dipped down below twenty twenty six in a long time. Bitcoin Cash uh, is on the ropes right now, peaked out at over twelve hundred dollars, um, and now it's all the way down, uh, back down to four eighty five. As you can see, there is a turbulent uh, energy in the market. Um, a lot of people don't know. Is Bitcoin going to go down? Is Bitcoin Cash going to go up? Is Germany going to have something to do with it? Nobody really knows. But one thing I do know right now is congratulations. If this is your first time tuning in, you are now rocking with the best. I am the boss of Bitcoin and you will see why in a second. I live in these charts. Uh, we have a Facebook group, we have a YouTube page, and we have a global community. So you are always welcome. The doors are always open. 4,200 people joined our Facebook community this week. 2,500 people joined our uh, YouTube uh, group this month. Sorry about that. And also, uh, I'm building out a new website, www.bossofbitcoin.com. Check it out when you get a minute. It's just an empowerment page. I got a few products on there. If you wanted to schedule some one-on-one -on -one time or you know, uh, get some get some profitable insight, you know, that's what we do. We're here to help each other get paid, uh, support each other along the way, and keep it uh, keep it positive and keep it moving. Uh, just a little update. It's a hold still on Litecoin and Dash. I'm not sure if this market is going up or down, but either way, those two coins uh, will help you out uh, with the direction when we determine uh, which way we're going. Bam! Cash money coins, right? I told you, we, we are here to profit from each other. Cash money coins, you know what I'm saying? We got my man Wheezy F on the left hand side holding up the chain rocking the chain right now you know your boy all gold out right now you know um ethereum versus ripple you know that's the question of the day ethereum versus ripple which one is the better buy right now that's that's the biggest thing guy. which one ultimately will put you in in the best position to be profitable right and i'm not talking about you know the the how how you feel about it i'm not talking about how much you like it i'm not talking about how much you dislike it i'm talking about how much money it's going to make you you see i know how to separate my my heart from my bank account you know especially when it comes to cryptocurrencies cuz it's a lot of coins i like that don't make me no money you know so i can't i can't hold them i'm you know i can't hold them so that's what that's one of the things uh, we'll talk about later on another on another call but you know just just remember you got to be able to separate your heart from your bank account right so with that being said uh first up right now is ethereum right um and what i'm gonna do this is tradingview.com if this is your first time tuning in all you have to do is uh look in the description and you will see some links right there one of the links is a playlist i created called how to chart like a boss uh you watch that playlist for uh, two or three videos, and you will see exactly how I'm able to set up uh, this uh, structure you see in front of you. You get the trading lines, the trend lines, um, you know, and and you'll you will be able to set your chart up to look exactly like mine does right now. Um, again, this is tradingview.com. A link is also in the description for this. Uh, this is a 21 minute chart. Uh, let's jump out a little bit to a 343. Uh, tradingview.com 343 minute chart and right now we are looking at ethereum to the dollar dum 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 and this is so bad i never trade against the dollar but i'm gonna tell you why right now because i think bitcoin is still gonna go down right now as i told you it's it's tr uh, what do they call that when you're just floating tre trending trending water uh, treading water. It's like literally just just head right there at the surface, just you know, floating, you know, struggling. It's moving. It's making a lot of energy, but it ain't going nowhere, right? And it's just a matter of time before it get pulled down. So my 
theology, my idea is that as Bitcoin goes down, we want to accumulate dollars because with those dollars, we'll be able to buy more Bitcoin at the bottom. Um, because essentially, if we did it the other way, then our growth on these altcoins would have to outpace the rate at which Bitcoin goes down. And that's going to be very hard to do. Um, it's easy to do when Bitcoin is going up in value. We can outpace Bitcoin and win more Bitcoin and win more cash. It's a win-win. But when Bitcoin starts to go down, I flip over to the dollar because my dollar is a lot stronger at the bottom than it is at the top. Conversely, Bitcoin is a lot stronger at the top than it is at the bottom. So that's my theology. I don't know if it's right. It makes sense in my mind. Uh, if you have a different theology, please put it in the comments. Let's open it up for discussion. Throw it on the uh, wall in the Facebook group. Really, I would like to, you know, have a discussion about that because um, that's something I've been I've been toiling with in my mind for a very, very, very long time. So I digress and I apologize about that. Um, here we go. Um, Ethereum to the dollar. Uh, again, this is cracking, okay? Um, one of the things you'll notice uh, with TradingView is you have different exchanges up here uh, that you know you can click on, uh, Poloniex, Coinbase. So this one is cracking. Um, the reason I like cracking is be especially to the dollar is because you almost have a global sentiment. It's a, it's a European exchange. I think European, German, it's not in the US. So because a lot of people use it from a lot of different countries, when they trade against the dollar, you almost get a snapshot of uh, the universal consciousness for the US dollar with that product at that time. So I like it. It's, it's not as skewed as Coinbase with the dollar is, right? Because Coinbase, you have all Americans, mostly Americans using it. Um, so it could be biased, but this one I feel is more reflective of the general market. So first things first, uh, we see that we got a nice little bump right here. This is a 343. The green has finally come above the orange twice now. And guess what it brought with them? It brought the red with them too. So this is a, this is a decent uh, setup right now, right? Um, one of the things we look at is green below orange sell green above orange buy right at the end of the day if you only wanted to do two things you can make a lot of money buying when it goes above the orange and selling when it goes below it you know if we would have did that all the way back here right all the way back there buy sell 266% Right. Very, very, very simple. Very, very, very easy. But now we're looking at it for a new cycle, which is awesome uh, because these charts cycle. They they, uh, you know, talk to themselves. They tell themselves what they can do. And that is what ends up ruling them in the future. Now, this is what I'm about to do. You guys should be able to follow my charts pretty easy. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to call this an advanced chart with Ethereum and Ripple. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw our trend line at the intersections that break up and break down. Right. And when we do that, um, we're going to get a, uh, a much, much clearer look at this thing. Um, to understand where we are moving forward. So you can see a uh, big breakdown below the orange. So this, the reason I picked this trend line up here was this was like the last area of consolidation, right? Before it broke all the way down. See that? And that was the major intersection that it was centered around. Same thing down, down low. Last major area of consolidation before it broke out and that was the intersection that it was centered around. So that in turn becomes our trend line, okay? And what we do, copy and paste it, throw it at the highest intersection over here, and we can start to see that Ethereum is telling itself it's time to make some money, you know? Because essentially what we had are three different channels. This is how you do this thing got to walk the dog. I call this walking the dog right now. You know, you put you put Ethereum on a leash and you tell Ethereum, like, listen, you can only go where this leash tell you to go. And this is how it worked right here. 
put it at the bottom of that. If we were on a 21 minute candle, it would be talking a lot clearer, but this is just a 343, so that's still okay. Yeah, that's that's exactly where it's at. So on a 21 minute, this would show up, but on the 343, the bottom of those candles are the extremes, but also that candle um, is essentially the exact same thing. So it talks to itself. Um, so what we see are, are essentially three channels, right? And now we got another one that we're in. This thing was uh, had broken out of the bottom channel a few times. It never got lower than that, so that's good, very good. Um, it had, yeah, that's good. Let's see the bottom of the green right there. Actually held right there. It didn't let it go lower. And if you notice, uh, the dips are getting higher. It got low right there. This was this was a bad time. And honestly, this was an anomaly. I think I've told you that on different charts. This was when you know basically the whole market crashed. Um, when the insiders were setting up Bitcoin Cash and nobody nobody else knew what was going on. They basically pulled about $100 million from Bitcoin so they could throw it over on Bitcoin Cash to get that set up. That's exactly what that dip was uh, right there back at towards the end of June. But we recovered from it nicely. Uh, this bottom line held very strongly. Um, and now we're actually out of our primary channel, which technically means we broke out. What do we need to do when we break out? After we break out, we need to get level, right? So now we just throw up a horizontal line and say this, where it is. And in order to figure out where our leveling position is, we look for the green to orange right there where floors become ceilings and ceilings become floors. Jump down to a 21. And you can see what I'm talking about. And again, the reason I like these charts is because these trend lines, rather, the 72177, is because it lets you jump in and jump out when you make an assumption just to confirm what you were looking at. So, what I see right now, bam, 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 floor ceiling floor yeah it's good so just to test it on the 21 what we see is that over here this trend line was a ceiling a roof right couldn't break through once we break through worst case scenario it's going to become a floor and even if we wanted to, we could bring it up right there and say the same thing. Go back a little bit to where it's talking to the orange line. And the orange line, it was a roof. So now over here, the orange line, it will be a floor. So that's essentially what you're able to do is jump between the 343 to 21 and, uh, you know, set up these set up these different levels right so essentially we do see that ethereum uh for the moment has broken out which is decent which is decent again a bottom support that it has is this line right there so it's got that going for it too um ground floor we'll call this line and right now you know for the most part, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. It's it's really no action right now. It's more or less trending sideways. Um, this is what would need to happen right now. It's more or less consolidating, so it would need to get like tighter, tighter, tighter before it could jump up and do that. And once that happens, let's see what kind of line it will be going on. Real quick, break out to break down on a 343. Our quick breakout would probably look 
something. Like that. That's actually a good line to hold. Uh, Cause see what I did was I copied that line from the other side of the chart and I looked for the intersection below Ethereum's breakout where those two lines crossed right there. So now I'm gonna tell Ethereum, you need to walk the dog and stay on top of that line because the minute you break down, you've just broke the only real level of support you have and not, I need to sell you because it has nothing to fall on now. See that? So Ethereum for the moment is okay, right? As long as it stays above this line, it's okay. Let's check out Ripple. And again, I like TradingView again because you can uh, save these charts, make your own little scale list and save them. So let's look at Ripple to the dollar. So Ripple, uh, for the time being, is still very, very much consolidating. Um, let's do this real quick, clear this thing. Drawing tools, move drawing tools. All right, and actually, um, XRP USD Kraken. Yeah, just to stay consistent, we'll stay on the same exchange. That way we don't have any bias in the platform. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And again, uh, this is, I was looking at this earlier. Uh, where is June? Yeah, this thing right here is the uh, Bitcoin Cash anomaly, more or less when all that money was moving in the market to accommodate Bitcoin Cash. So I won't necessarily look at that, but we can see right away. We really don't have enough information on this chart. For whatever reason, Kraken only gives us to the end of June. Uh, so we'll jump back to Poloniex. they go back you need at least about 12 weeks to draw a solid chart um you can see i can with the 343 i can zoom down to like you know a couple days to see how that looks or i can jump out to you know a couple months right and just starting if i just did that if i wanted a long range run line i would take something from the beginning right before that breakout over there to our breakdown point right there so that's a lot better i can paste this guy throw it down low to our lowest point possible bam bam what do we get we get a few things we get a new channel that ripple is breaking down on so essentially what we did, we went breakout over here, right? Let me, let me throw this circles up so you guys can see it. One thing we did for Ripple, breakout. Breakdown. And just to keep it consistent, bounce. That that's essentially the lowest point possible that Ripple consolidated on. And what it gives us is the area of the chart where throw it on the red. Because when you forecast it, when you forecast it like that, it works better to either do the red or the orange. The orange actually might be the best in this situation. Yeah, because you see it carries it 
So this is essentially the orange line is like our momentum line. And again, I haven't done any videos like this to where I actually walk you guys through the methodology of forecast and trend lines. Um, but just from my own you know, knowledge and hours of doing this stuff, I understand how they work a little bit better. So when you throw a trend line like that on the orange line, it more or less shows you the inner momentum of it. Because you can see just from point to point, the orange line creates this nice parabola like that. Um, and so what you're doing when you draw your trend lines like this and you forecast them on different tangent points is you're actually telling the data where it has to align itself to, right? And just naturally, just that easy, you've created a nice bell curve of data. You know, for those of you that know statistics and, you know, probability distributions, all that, you've just standardized this whole data set within a few lines. And by doing that, now we can figure out a lot more of the information as it's uh, put together in the future, um, just through three lines. So essentially what we have here is we've got that data broken down. We do this right here. Ripple has a very, very, very flat slope um, in so much that I don't even like that slope because it doesn't tell me anything down here. So in order to get there, I'm gonna keep that point the same, but raise this trend line up to our breakdown. You see that? And look at that now. Now I got something to work with, with Ripple. And it's just that easy, you guys. Again, this is what I tell you. To, you, you, you can make this data tell you what's gonna happen next. Um, just by aligning your trend lines together and making them work together and making them harmonize the data that's inside of it. That was supposed to be a parabola, but you know, the definition of a parabola is a uniform data distribution, right? Uh, people that know statistics understand this. And so that's all I'm doing is I am aligning the momentum of this chart, uh, cutting out the extremes, throwing up some simple circles, some simple lines, and now I can see that ripple has consolidated all the way down, and the minute it gets above that line, which it looks like it's trying to as we speak, um, then it's gonna be living in that new area. And just to see breakdown, I'm trying to find a breakout point to pinpoint it. Breakdown, breakdown, this one's weird. Oh, it's 343, that's why. So let's jump over to the 21 so I could show you exactly uh, where our levels are. Look at that. Look at look at how clean that is though. Like you can't, you know, and I just threw these trend lines up here. Like if you actually took the time guys, I've taken the time and like done one chart, you know, Litecoin back when I said LTC times three, I looked at Litecoin's chart for probably two days. Um, and I understood that thing. It was like, I, I had a dream about it actually. Um, but look at that trend line, like it shows you exactly like that cross right there. You can't, you know, that is not an accident. Just the simple fact that, you know, this trend line showed us, uh, ah, man, where this thing intersected the green line at on the orange with the red coming to, you know, that shows you that's a major area. Uh, of, of harmony in the chart. Same thing down here, intersected another hump right there. And it's, it's, it's literally, whenever the orange gets to it, it has to obey it, right? That's what we see. So it broke down right there, right where I threw that red line at. It broke down, but the orange has to obey that trend line. So the minute that orange gets above that trend line, then we are now living in a new channel that is uh, a breakout for Ripple. We haven't gotten there yet, but we're getting close. And so until then, um, we're essentially writing down this line. But we're getting closer and closer and closer. And the minute we break out, and I'm just trying to see where that would be, if we go to the top of that green line right there, you see that top of that green line? because that it had to bounce twice, bounce, 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 break. And it looks like Ripple has just broken out like literally today within the past couple hours. 
uh, broke out of a continuation downtrend to where now it needs to consolidate uh, somewhere in this area, you know, have a nice little consolidation pattern to where it can pick up on its next spike. Ooh. It does spike. This is the line that it will follow. Now it will have some internal resistance. Uh, it'll have a struggle point right there. Uh, but once Ripple breaks through, say uh, 20 cents, you know, then it's going to probably a quarter, you know, right around there. Because see on the 343, that, that point before it doesn't even show up. The first prominent point, breakdown point is right in there. So once Ripple breaks, 20 cents, it's going up to 26 cents. And that's how you do it. You know, that's how you do it. That's how you chart like a boss. Uh, so with that being said, um, th that leaves the question, you know, what is the better buy right now? You know, that brings us back to where we were at. What is the cash money coin, you know, to make you profitable, you know, for the foreseeable future right now in the market? I have a very good idea on, on what that coin is for you. I, I understand these charts very, very well. And my goal is to help you understand these charts. So in doing that, uh, I do all that to say this. On our website, bossofbitcoin.com, you click on that shop button. Um, you click on this little, nice little, nice little document I put together uh, with a bow on it. It's called the Profit Package. Uh, one of these coins that we talked about today is on this list and one of them is not and there's a reason for that and if you if you you know like to know that reason this is your opportunity to see it uh firsthand i do believe very strongly um that the market is at a point of inflection and those who know that can set themselves up to to outpace the market uh well over well over general general standings. Uh, last year, I was able to outpace the market a thousand percent. Average person just made their growth rate on Bitcoin. And I did well, well, well above that, you know, and, and just by the different swing trades and the logistics, you can see how that is possible. So, you know, with the profit package, it's one thing I put together. I took about two months uh, during this whole time in limbo when the market was bouncing around. I didn't put anything out. I actually had taken my other uh, pick picks off the market. Um, and so, you know, past four or five weeks, uh, we're really spent understanding this market, uh, living in the charts every day. And so again, bossofbitcoin.com, click on that shop. If you wanna, if you want to see that pick along with very many others that will set you up for success, you have that option on the website. In addition to that, um, one of my goals is to make myself accessible and available to our community. So with that being said, uh, I am available for one-on-one -on -one meetings. A lot of people just getting started in crypto, you know, just want to set up their wallet or, you know, learn about how, you know, Bitcoin works, you know, whatever it might be. Or you might be an investor with, you know, I talked to somebody today, you know, had about $20,000 that they were debating. Do they get in the market now? Do they wait? You know, do they buy Bitcoin cash? Different things like that. How do they keep the money safe? You know, so it's it's different things uh, always uh, to consider, you know, to, to increase your chances of success in the market. So again, I try to make myself accessible and I try to put some put little documents together uh, to make it easy for you to have success. And at the end of the day, that is what we are here for. Uh, this is a global community. I am merely one of the voices. Trust me, it'll come in time and day where you don't even need to listen to my voice on YouTube anymore. It'll be somebody else's voice and I'll be able to play in the background, you know, and, and just told you, just go to go to Brazil and, you know, drink wine on the beach. I will be very happy doing that. Um, but until then, you know, your boy is on Facebook right now. Uh, got the number one Bitcoin group in the world. Got the number one squad in the world. 6,000 people strong. You know, 158 waiting in line right now. Uh, the doors are always open. All I ask is when you join, we ask you three questions. Make sure you answer them because if you don't, uh, you won't be let in. Essentially, it's just our way to protect the group. And, you know, it's bots out there and all that. Like this person, they didn't answer any questions. Haven't answered any questions decline. 
You know, that's how that's how it 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 goes. So what we're doing now, we're filtering out by people who actually took the time to answer the question, provide a little bit of information. You know what the question are? What is the price of Bitcoin today? What is your favorite crypto? That's it. Anybody that answered the question, bam. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the money team. Anybody that don't, keep it moving. Um, you know, and, and that's it. That's it. You know, we try to keep it positive. I apologize if I get a little bit emotional at times. I am sincere about helping people. I am sincere about empowering people. I woke up, you know, in 2009 making $2 an hour with a civil engineering degree. I might as well use this toilet paper because the Great Recession happened. Banks collapsed the economy and I couldn't even get a job. I was giving blood twice a week. You know, plasma downtown Cleveland, giving plasma twice a week, 50 bucks, you know. And I said, I'm tired of being broke. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So I had to figure out how money worked. You know, I went to the library every day, 12 hours a day to study the GRE. I said, I, I need to go to school. My degree ain't worth nothing. I need to go to school. So you know what happened? I got, you know, messed around, got accepted in the University of Notre Dame, messed around, got accepted, you know, got a I want, with a Fortune 100 company after I graduated making six figures through 20, 30 grand in the Bitcoin. And now I'm sitting on enough to buy a house. It doesn't just have to be me. Each one, reach one, reach one, teach one. So I am trying to empower anybody that hears these words right now with the skills and ability to financial forecast and control your own freedom. If you appreciate that, all I ask three things, like, subscribe, and share. I try to get on this video every day, six, seven days a week. If you're in the chat right now, do me a favor and shout your country out. Um, your boy is about to close out. I want to show my people some love today. Um, you know, we do this thing every day where I try to give away Bitcoin before the air. We wasn't able to do it today. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it tomorrow. Again, uh, the PDF, the website is bossofbitcoin.com. You jump on there, uh, type in your, your purchase information, and it, it will be an automatic download um, to where you'll be able to download the profit package right there on the website. Um, it's not an email. It's not none of that. So it's right there on the website. It's automated, it's streamlined, and um, you know, hopefully you know, it, it, it's very easy for you. And put it this way, I haven't gotten one complaint on it. I've done two of them over the course of two months, haven't gotten one complaint, having to refund one dollar. Uh, Cause it works. I make money, and that my people make money. You know, every day on my channel is Thanksgiving, cause every day somebody eats. You know, and we break bread together. So again, if you're in the chat right now, do me a favor. I got about thirty seconds before I log this thing on out. I try to keep it under thirty minutes. You know, people got a short attention span. They got kids. They got bills. You know what I'm saying? Got to cook dinner. So I'm trying to get in, jump in, jump out like double dutch. You know. So let's see. Let's see who we got on the air right now. Let's see who we got on the air right now. Bam. What's going on? What's going on? What's up, my people? Uh, who we got? Who we got live on the air rocking out with your boy? We got Austria, Italy, Philippines, Portland, Oregon. Big up to the to the to the Pacific Coast, East Coast, baby, baby, Canada. Uh, what we got? What we got? Greece, Romania, the Bay Area. Big Dave holding down in the Bay. What's going on, man? Detroit, the D is in the building. Ecuador, you know, Alexis from Earth. You know, I appreciate that. Jerk money in the building, Australia, in the moon, on the moon, thinking about sitting on my Litecoin. I see you, Johnny B. Hey, LTC times three. I still think it's getting to $100, you know. Uh, Belgium, Maryland, Montreal, from Mexico, you know, UK, SoCal, California, Israel, Brooklyn, Hungary. As you can see, we are global. This is a global community. You know, I try to keep it positive. I try to empower my people. BK, you say, who are your people? Anybody that's trying to empower somebody else, each one, reach one, reach one, teach one. You know, the more money I make my people, the more friends I have. You know why? Because everybody out here trying to fight for the same little piece of cheese. But the minute we get our own, just imagine how powerful we can be. The minute I, I tell people, I said, I said, you know, just just imagine what it feel like just going walking in walking in the park on Sunday, just knowing that your bills is paid. Suns and sun shining, birds chirping, and bank account ain't on e. You know, that's a that's an empowering feeling, and I want everybody to have that feeling. Life is so much better when you ain't running around, you know, just punching a clock, waiting on your next check to come through so you could go give it away to somebody else. And just by learning to read these charts, everybody on this channel can can experience that. That's what I'm passionate for. That's what that's what my mission is to empower my people. With that being said, it's that time of the day. No matter where you stay, from Brazil to the Bay and California, all the way out to Germany. Good night. Good morning. 
and good day. Y'all take it easy until we meet again. Stay cryptic, y'all. Peace.